Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Path. In today's video, what we're going to talk about is backing up your iPhone or your iPad device, like an iOS device, right? So what I'm going to do is back up my iPad. I backed it up, I think, yesterday. And what I'm going to do is actually I want to encrypt my backup, but it's the same exact process. When you encrypt your backup on your phone or on your iPad, it's going to encrypt that. So if your iPad or your iPhone or whatever gets into the wrong hands, they can't make sense of that backup, right? They can't get to it because they need to put a password and all that stuff. So, you know, before we get into it, please like, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. Hit the bells and hack the algorithm for YouTube. So let's get into the video, right? So here we have out my Windows 11 machine with my iPad over there somewhere. So if we open up iTunes, right, we have, you know, the latest and greatest iTunes. We can click on this little icon up here, which indicates my iPad, you know, iPad Air 2, that's the one I have, it's a little older, and I have, you know, 16 gigs, it, whatever, it works for me, I don't even use it, my daughter uses it more than I do. All right, so, if we can see backups, right, we have backups here, we have automatic backups, and then we have manual backups, right, so we want to encrypt local backup, okay, so what this does, this will allow the backup to be encrypted, be protected, and obviously we're gonna uh, we're gonna provide a password so it's encrypted, pretty much, right? So let's just click on this encrypted local backup, and then we're gonna make a password. I'm gonna put my fancy password. All right, and now I wanna set password, and we'll give this a second. And now you've seen this pop up. It's gonna be my fancy password. All right, so now it's going to start backing up. Let's see. Now it's going to start backing up my iPad. As you see here, it's probably going to take a couple minutes, okay? So now, once this is backed up, you might be asking, where is this located, right? Where is it located on your Windows machine? Let's go find out, okay? So while this is backing up, we can just go out to the, the interwebs and really just check really quick. Okay, you know what, let me not, I don't want to use this, I don't want to use, I want to just use, uh, let me just use, uh, this is going to take a few seconds, uh, let's just use Edge. Okay, fair enough, and boom, let's just Google really quick. Where does Apple back up? Um, PC, when Windows 10, probably Windows 11, same thing. All right, so I am just want to show you guys this. I know exactly where it is. So what we can do here is copy this, okay? And let's go ahead and open up our Windows Explorer. And we can go like this, we can go like this, and we can look where this is located. So we're gonna go into C, uh, C drive, and then we're going to go to users, and then the username, which is infosec, and we have app data. So if we don't have app data here, what we have to do is go to options, view, show hidden, and now we should see a data right here, app data, okay, and then we have roaming and we have Apple Computer, Mobile Sync, and Backup. So this is the backup right here. Let me actually go see where we're at in this backup. And the backup seems to be completed. It is 622, so it is backed up. So our backup is done. So now this is where it's stored. Whoops, let's go back to File Explorer. So this is where it's stored. We open this up, we can go in here and see everything. Obviously, I'm not gonna open that stuff up because that's my private stuff and my daughter and, and all that good stuff, but that's where it's located when you back up an iPhone, an iPad, and all that good stuff, okay? So let's exit out of here. And that's pretty much the process of backing up an iPhone or an iPad. Either, either way is the same exact thing. And this is Windows 11, same thing with Windows 10, 
and I wouldn't be using anything besides Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I think October 5th, Microsoft uh, announced that you know Windows 11 is going to be officially released. So it's going to be a free upgrade if you have Windows 10. And if you have Windows 10, that's legit, right? It's not like pirated or anything like that. If it's genuine copy, you're going to be able to upgrade. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys you know enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share. And hopefully um, if you have any questions about backing up your iPhone or iPad, just let me know. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye-bye.